So this is a new market I'm going to be at on Saturdays for a couple months. Barbecue, cakes and pies, Cullifers, the big vegetable guys down there. That's my buddy John Meekins, he's an oyster and clam guy. I'm going to be setting up right here, but I'm on the other side of this tent right here. This is the lady who sells the pies and the cakes and stuff. Saturday's market from 10 to 1. I had to meet a guy I had to pick up that knife this morning. So I'm waiting for him to come back. Well, he runs this market. He has a, a lady who helps him, a partner, I guess. They got a brand new coffee shop right here just opened up. I spent coffee in that this morning. It's good too. Okay. That's it. See you soon. Myself. This is called the. Uh, Shore Drive Market. It's about seven minutes from where I live. That's a little shopping center in the parking lot. A lot of little sh shops and restaurants in here. Pretty cool. They started opening last year and did really well. Then they're open year round. But it's too cold for me in January and February, so I stay away from these markets. Indian. What are you doing out there? Come on inside. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a shade after eleven. Saturday morning. I just got back from taking the leader to the airport. She's in New York now. I just left the uh, new farmer's market where I'll be working the next couple of months. And a guy met me there with a knife. Wants me to sharpen. Bitch made. 940. So I'm going to break out the wicked edge. Clamp her up. Sharpen her up for him. Stand by. This knife was in pretty good shape. He just wanted to sharpen. He just rolled over a little bit. So I just, I'm starting out with only 400 grit. And I move up from there. Trying to stay right with the factory edge that's on there. Just sharpen it up. He says it's an everyday carry. And polish it up. Alright, I gotta go back to two hands. I'll get back to you. All right, I moved on to the uh, 800, 1000 grit diamond paddles now. You can see it's uh, shaping up good. That's the way it does though. It's what it's supposed to do. Stand by. I gotta go back to two hands. Well, we finished up with the 800 and 1000. Now we're going to the ceramics. Coarse, fine. I use a little water on these when I use them. That's, I seem to me they, they do a little better job when they're damp. So I got a little sponge here. I just dab a metal sponge and go to work. Stand by. You can see it's just two or three little passes and it gets really shiny already. The 1000 is pretty shiny, but of course it is diamond, so it leaves a little little minor scratches on it. Whereas this coarse and fine, and then I use uh, the leather ones over here, and then I got some polishing tapes I use right there. Stand by, we'll be back to you in a minute. Can you see that edge coming now? Got 10 more minutes to go, maybe. Hard to see it inside like this. Well, we're finished. We'll take out a device and get a better look at her.
Might be too bright in here. Looks like it is too bright. Let's go over here where it's only a little bit of light. Well, that's better. Yeah, that's much better. Look at that. Bench made 940. Green scales. Probably G10 maybe. I'm not sure. Okay. I like it. Thank you, Justin. Don't cut yourself. Well, we got to clean the wicked edge up, put it back on the shelf. Okay, so I get some more action. I might go for a